power and economy is achievable. You only use the amount of fuel for the amount of power that you're actually using in the vehicle. For instance, if a car is capable of 300 kilowatts, at the 300 kilowatt mark, you are using 300 kilowatts worth of fuel, which would be a fairly thirsty car. This is all dedicated by the amount of acceleration that you give the car. If you're only using 70 kilowatts of that 300 kilowatts, the car is most likely to be economical, where by we're meaning that the accelerator wouldn't be depressed all the way to the floor on everyday driving, meaning that the computer would be going into different load cells and RPMs where fuel efficiency would be greater. The two main factors giving good fuel economy are ignition timing and air fuel ratios. 90% of your driving time is spent cruising and idling. So 60, 80 and 100 kilometer load cells are the most important part of your tune. These load cells must have correct ignition timing and air fuel to determine good fuel economy.